have some doodle fans. A little bit different view tonight. We decided we'd come to you from our living room. This is where the puppies have been getting to spend a whole lot more time lately. And so this is our six week Kelly Gator puppy videos. Right here in my lap I have CJ. He just had a bath about an hour ago. He loved it. He was like just <laughs> zen in a bubble bath, just like me. Oh, buddy. He wasn't a big fan of the hair dryer. Once I give him a bath, I do use the hair dryer on them, but I have it on cool heat only. No heat at all, just cool air um, to help take their little chill off. And it looks like my oldest daughter here has Kirby. Why don't we put him down in your lap so you can just relax. And every night this week, we've been doing something just a little bit different. <clears throat> um, each puppy comes out one by one, and they get to spend an evening with us by themselves. We want them to get used to being away from the littermates. We want them to get used to just having some one-on-one -on -one time with adults and interacting with adults and everything not being all about just playing with other puppies. <clears throat> this will really help them transition into your house. And those of you that are now going to live with other puppies, they will also still love that, I'm sure. I know Mickey's really going to love playing with Zoe. What do you think, CJ? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these puppies. But I do a little bit of training with them one-on-one -on -one each night during the week as well. One of the things I do with them, for example, is a barrier challenge. I just put a little um, gate up, something that they just have to figure out how to walk around to get to whatever they want. Maybe it's a toy, maybe it's food, or maybe it's just to get to us for attention. But something that just helps their brains engage and helps them learn how to think and how to work. They're real cuddle bugs right now. They've had a very busy afternoon. They all had, they all had their baths today for six weeks. Now let's put them in your lap, remember? So you can hold them right there in your lap. And I will go grab the other two. I'll be right back. Yay. Some of the other things that you guys will notice is I do have my two helpers here. I know you guys have seen our kids in the playpen. We do always have our kids with us and getting these dogs very accustomed to kids. <laughs> we have Lulu trying to get in shot and play ball with us. <clears throat> Callie's taking a nap over on the couch. She's a tired girl today. <clears throat> but like I said, everybody just had a big day. They all just had their baths, so they are exhausted. It's not often we can get all of them together in one shot just laying still. So here is Quincy, and this one is Mickey. I don't know if y'all can tell with them so close together who was who. So again, Mickey, Quincy. Can I have Kirby, please? Sure, Mommy. Sure. Happy Easter. <laughs> oh, and here's our puppy pile. So here's Kirby piling on. Kirby's puppy coat was one of the last ones to come in and get fluffy. But as you can see after his bath today, he, he has gotten quite the, the fluffiness. It's not quite as curly, I don't think, as um, definitely not as curly as Quincy's. But it has definitely gotten a lot fluffier after his bath today. He just needed a good shampoo. And I'll get some video of these guys playing when they wake up. It was so sweet and such a rare moment for me just to have them all cuddled and snuggled and playing. I mean, sleeping with us. I thought I'd show you guys. Let me have CJ. You guys stay here. I will give you a puppy in just a minute. Lily really wants to play ball. Everybody else wants to sleep. Oh, puppy pile. Mm -hmm. You guys get a good shot, everybody. Hey, guys, we're back. The puppies woke up a little bit, so they're starting to explore and play. That's Lulu. And uh, Lulu, come here. Come here, baby girl. She is about seven months old, and she'll be an Aussie mama one day, but she's still got a couple years to go. So. Callie is napping on the couch right now. Sometimes being a mama is hard work. Callie! No, she didn't even want to wake up. Well, 
<laughs> Mickey, you're so silly. All stretched out. I thought I'd show you guys this. They are still nursing. Callie will stand here for a little while and then she'll walk away. She is starting to wean them. They're eating more and more mash, but they still get pretty excited about feeding time. The other two are on the other side eating as well. I think it's pretty cute though. But she's pretty patient with them. She will still let them until if one of them starts getting a little too aggressive. She's like, enough. She has enough I got some milk back here. Yes, <laughs> it's not quite Go get him, CJ. Go get him, CJ. Kirby. <clears throat> this part's so sweet to me. Hey, look, go on. But you can see all our dogs do get along. I don't let the other dogs around the puppies until they're six weeks old. But once they are six weeks old, we do go ahead and let the other dogs in the house um, come around the puppies and mama, as long as mama dog's okay with it. If Callie had a problem with it, then we would still keep the other dogs away and keep them separate. We just really judge it by the temperament of the mama dog. But Callie's okay with Lulu being around, so we let Lulu come around. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, awesome doodle fans. Happy Easter.